Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up, what's up, what's up? This is Winning Cures Everything. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. This is the NFL Week 4 Preview Show. We're going to give you some picks. We're going to tell you what we think about the biggest games of the weekend and the most interesting games of the weekend. We talk about almost every game. Did you see people on YouTube wanted us to talk about every game? I'm, I told you they were going to. Yeah, I and we might do that once we get to like a midway point of the season, once we get to a point where we can actually like not spend an hour talking about five games, you know? <laughs> If, if we start, like, if we set a timer and just roll through. If we had the ability to do this for a living for real. Uh, we'd have then, so much content. Then I, would, then I would have no problems giving Ooh. them anything that they wanted. The issue is, is this is one of multiple Time. multiple jobs that we have. Yes. Multiple. We're, we're both and you're fathers. Getting, and you're getting the worst of us because it is Tuesday night, almost Wednesday morning. Yeah. This is, the, this is, this is all we got left in us. <laughs> To try to bring this to you. And we, we love doing it, or we, we wouldn't do it. We're giving you everything we got. Yeah, we're doing it because we like doing it. So don't, I'm not asking for pity, but I am saying, oh, man, I really don't want to talk about some of these games that I think are just going to be bad. Yeah, I can understand. So, I can understand. One day. We one day, be. we're just going to talk about every NCAA game. We're going to talk about oh. every NFL game. We're just going to spend the whole week talking, and it's going to be great. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this. This show brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find all the information about them and their six wonderful sports books over at tunicatravel.com. They are fantastic. They treat us well. They, they will are. treat you well. Go down, see what all they've got in store for you down in Tunica, down in the wonderful Delta, Mississippi area. They got some fine casinos down there. You can find more information about us over at winningcureseverything.com. Of course, we've got the picks contest. We've got all of our videos, all of our podcasts, everything else. Make sure you hit subscribe on YouTube. Give us a like on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, we used to give out the Twitter handle. It's at GaryWCE, at Winning Cures. At Chris B. Giannini. So you can follow all of us, the show, and our personal accounts on the Twitter. <sighs> you ready to get into this? Yep. Oh, give us a subscribe, please. Subscribe to the to the show. If you're on YouTube, leave some comments. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, what we got right, what we got wrong, etc. Tell us what your picks are for this week. What you uh, Gary's like, what always you like. ask you to tell us what you don't like. He doesn't have to say that. Well, you could just tell us what you like. We know you're gonna tell us what you don't like. That that is the truth. You've That's never had to be told. No, that. we we do appreciate you guys being honest with us. Okay. You know, we always want you to be honest. Okay. Um, however, you, some of y'all could be nicer. I'm just saying, <laughs> just throwing it out there. Uh, we are already three and a half minutes in, so let's go ahead Roll. and get to this thing. The Cowboys at the Saints. Saints are a two and a half point underdog. To the Dallas Cowboys. Of course, Drew Brees is gone. He is bye-bye for at least, what, five more weeks? Yeah, he's not coming back, baby. Not coming back for a little while. We got Teddy Bridgewater. They looked good against Seattle last week. This is the Sunday night football game. It's on NBC from the Superdome. Look, I don't know what to make of the Saints team. I think that they are still very talented. I... I trust Sean Payton to be able to put together a game plan that will maximize his efforts okay. and maximize Teddy Bridgewater's ability, which is not the same as Drew Brees. But I think he's still a formidable quarterback that can get a win in this spot. The Cowboys have not played anybody of substance as of yet. Like I, I don't think the Giants are very good. I don't think the Redskins are very good. I know the Dolphins aren't very good. So... You know, I mean, what are we, what are we looking at here? Do you do you believe the Cowboys are maybe the third best team in the NFL this year? I think they're in consideration for that, by the way they've played. But I don't know that they've really been challenged. I think this is going to be the biggest challenge that they've had, and it's not that Dallas defense against this Saints offense. It is the rest of the team. 
Yeah. It is going to be the Dallas's offense, which has explosive weapons, but I think Gallup is still out. I think he actually matters. Yep. And I, I want to see Zeke and Amari and Dak go up against this Saints defense. It is not a joke. They are really good. Oh, it is not. I, I think these are pretty evenly matched teams. I obviously like Dak better than Teddy Two Gloves. But I would take Sean Payton a thousand times over before I considered putting one nickel in the clapper. So he, it's. I, I'll say this. I do really like uh, Kellen, uh, Kellen Moore. Now Kellen we, Moore. We, are, we yeah. are firmly planted in the Kellen Moore sweepstakes. Oh, 100%. We're, 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 we're not off that train anytime soon. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm just very curious to know how Teddy's going to look. Because I don't think Teddy looked great. But I, I, I'm no. going to tell you this. Let me tell you who is great. Alan Kamara might be the best football player in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I like, think, This is always fun to watch whenever you see Kamara against Zeke. That's right. right. You're going to get a matchup like this. It's going to be pretty incredible to watch. Cooper, Michael Thomas. I, I think there's a considerable difference between Dak and Teddy. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I... I so far, I believe in, in Kellen Moore's offense. Can Dak get rattled in the Superdome? Can that place get crazy and loud enough to shake him? I think so. Because I do too, because he hasn't been shaken yet. I, I think that this is the... But he hasn't played in a dangerous situation yet. No, I think that this is where the Cowboys get got. And so I do I'm, too. I'm rolling with the Saints in this. I, I think that I, not only do they cover, I've got the Saints straight up here. I do too. Um, okay, we, we see we see very similar. It, again, it's very easy to bet against the Saints while Drew Brees is out. But I mean, they've got a fantastic coaching staff. They got a great defense. Top to bottom, they're still one of the best teams in the country, and they're at home. I mean, they're one of the most talented yeah. teams from top to bottom. Right now, the trigger man's out, and that's tough. That is tough, but I do think that it makes everybody else like hyper aware. Of, of what their job is. Oh, I completely it's, Sometimes agree with it's that. easy to get comfortable when you got Drew Brees back there. To- totally agree with that. So, I, while I do think that the Cowboys are really good, I do think that they are a Super Bowl contender. Uh, th- th- this is a tough spot. You know, first, first real matchup uh, that they've had so far this year. And yes, I understand everybody has NFL rosters and all that, but some just have better rosters. And so, and I think that the Saints have one of those better rosters. All right, let's move on from there. Let's talk about the Patriots at the Bills. I think this is the second best game of the weekend. Uh, two undefeated teams, Correct. two AFC East teams, and yet we have a seven and a half point home dog going up against Tom Brady. Now there is no question who the better quarter at, or quarterback is between Tom Brady and Josh Allen. Um, I'll tell you this: if Bill Belichick were to retire tomorrow. I know you would have no problem having Sean McDermott be the next Patriots coach. No, well, I'd rather have Josh McDaniels, but eh. you know how I like about Sean McDermott. I, 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 I know, McDermott I know you love Sean McDermott, yeah. and that's that's what I'm saying here. I do, I do like Sean a lot. I think he's a really just think he's insanely underrated. Nobody across the country, half half the media guys don't know his name. The ones that do know his name. Don't know anything well, uh, about him. Lord, think about how many times we screw it up. Well, I mean, it, it, no, you, we, you we had the McVeigh and McVay. the McDermott yeah, that's thing. right. That's right. You and I both did like two years ago, and then yeah, I've done it. I've done it once, but I mean, I know this guy. Oh, I'm you a, do. I'm yeah, a, you I'm do a, now. I am a fan. Yeah. I believe in him, and uh, I don't know that I believe in him this week. That's so. You don't think that uh, that maybe seven and a half might be a a bit much? I could be just. Dead wrong. I think this defense is really good for the Patriots. I think they're kind of insanely good. They've still yet to give up a touchdown. Yeah. I mean, well, a defensive touchdown anyway. They have yet. This defense has yet to give up a touchdown. Um. Yeah. I mean, the the Bills as an underdog, of course, which is every matchup against the uh, the Patriots. Yep. Uh, they Good are. Model. Two and four in their last six. I'd say I bet they're one, five. One and, one and four in their last five okay. against the spread. Ooh, that's bad. That is pretty bad. I would have um, thought I would have thought they'd pretty close to to. Well, they, these are the scores here. Um, 
Jesus. Let's let's just talk about when Buffalo is at home. New England last October beat them twenty five to six. Uh, in December of twenty seventeen beat them twenty three to three. In that's bad. Uh, let's see, in October twenty sixteen, New England beat them forty one to twenty five. Bad. Yeah, it's uh, and now now of course if you go to New England, twenty four to twelve, thirty seven to sixteen. Uh, I mean, 2016, Buffalo beat them 16 to nothing in Foxborough. That was 2016. Like that was with Tyrod and and all that kind of mess. So, um, man, I would I would lay the seven and a half points. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. I think the Patriots win. I think that this is a a close game. I think the sharp play is the Bills because it's always the hard play. Yeah. I could be wrong on that. I like I like having that hook there. Yeah. But I, I really like that hook. This will be the first time the Patriots have been tested. This will be the first defense this offense has played. Exactly. I mean, that's the truth. Yeah. This is the first time this offense will have faced any adversity whatsoever. Julian went out of the game the other day. Hurt. Yep. It didn't matter because it was the Jets. It's going to matter this week. Uh, Gordon went out of the game. Hurt. Didn't matter because it was the Jets. It's gonna matter this week. Yes, it is. So, I mean, there's there's opposition here. Just for gambler's perspective, if if the Bills pulled this game off, right now the Patriots' odds of winning this division are disgustingly astronomical. <laughs> but if the Bills win this, I bet you could get incredible odds on the Patriots to win this. Probably. Now, they're not going to be plus anything, but they'll be, you know, maybe minus 140 instead of minus 1,400. New England as a favorite of seven, as a road favorite of seven points or more. They are six and four in their last 10 against the spread. Seven and three overall. And so they're three and one in the last four. Uh, the only loss being to Miami last year. That's right, last year. La- that last second, uh, last second loss. Um, I just have a feel, and you know how I believe this. I, I know there's a lot of close games that happen in the NFL. If I don't think a team can win, the short line, I, I can't bet. It's it's a different era. There's so much more scoring now. Like it's a, in the NFL, of course, the the lines not, are going to be not against the Patriots, but yeah. Not I mean, against the Patriots, there's not any more scoring. No, not against the Patriots, but the Patriots do put up more points right now. Well, yeah. So that's why I like that's why I would take them to cover. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, Nobody so I, scored a half a first half point on them since the playoffs last year. Yeah. I I'm a roll with the Bills. I think that they will be able to slow down at least a little bit. Um I could see this being a touchdown game. I like the hook there. I think the Patriots win. I think the Bills cover. I do think that's a sharp play. We talked about that. Yeah. Um, let's move on from there. Let's uh, let's talk about the Chiefs at the Lions. The Lions are a seven-point underdog at home. This is early game again, 12 o'clock. Uh, they keep putting the Chiefs at 12 o'clock. It's kind of weird, right? Yep. Like I, I don't know why they're not the afternoon game. Um, Lions 2-0-1 so far on the season. And, man, does that Cardinals game not feel more like a loss now? Yes. It's just ridiculous. Uh Matt Patricia, like he has built this team in the image of the Patriots. He's trying. And I got to tell you, I think that he knows at least how to slow down the Chiefs at least a little bit. Um, Obviously, the Chiefs are going to put up points on everybody. But I also think that Matt Stafford, you know, a little bit underrated. Like the guy can sling it. Uh, I don't think that... He has to worry too much about like a ball hawking defense, anything like that. I know no. Tyron Matthew is is still good, but as a unit, the Chiefs defense is still not great by correct. any stretch of the imagination. Totally correct. Lions at home. I I'm never gonna pick against the Chiefs to win. But I think at some point there's gotta be a, a comeback down to earth. Thing. And after such a massive home win last week against the Ravens, who everybody was crowning as the, the next big thing, I think at this point, this is maybe one of those where 
you know, last year their four losses were all on the road. I think if, if you're going to get got, it's going to be on the road against a team you don't expect it to be against. I think people still may be underestimating the Lions a little bit. I would I would bet if we went back and looked, I would have bet those four road losses were against good teams. Oh, yeah. And I think the Lions are a good team. Okay. That's that's what I'm I don't saying. Dis- I don't disagree with the Lions being a good team. We're going to go opposite on this one, too. I, I, I'm just so impressed with the Chiefs. I, and I don't think they're coming back down to earth. I think everyone everyone said I said it. If they lost 10 touchdowns and 1,000 yards, he's still the best quarterback from last year's yeah. roster, right? Out of everybody else's, if you take 10 touchdowns and 1,000 yards away from him, he's still the number one quarterback. I don't think we're taking any touchdowns away from him. I don't think we're taking any yards away from him at all. I think he can sustainably do this. I think this is who he is. Well, remember, I mean, it, it was a back to recover, but they did only win by five last week. At home. Okay. So what but I'm that's saying a, is... I, I, I think the Ravens are a lot better football team than the Lions. I could be wrong about that. I'm going to venture to say that the Lions at home will be as good against the Chiefs as the Ravens were on the road. Okay. Like, that, that's just me. They, like I, Again, I don't think the Lions win the game. No. I think they can keep this thing close. And with... The way that teams are going for two and missed field goals and missed extra points and da-da-da-da-da, you're giving me a touchdown to work with? I'll take the touchdown. I'll take the points. Okay. I, Once I like again, that. that's probably the sharp play, and I'm going to bet I'm going with the public. But I'm not betting against Patrick Mahomes. you you probably a smart until he Until he brings his butt to Foxborough, I'm not betting against him. If, well, you bet on the, on the Ravens last week, didn't you? Yeah, I lost. No, you won. I did not win. I think my line was four. That line was a touchdown last week. I don't think I got a touchdown, Gary. Is that I could have sworn Keep that going. you I have to look it up. It's been a while, man. Listen, it, it, a lot happened. It's been a week. Now and then. It's been a week. Well, uh, it's been Yeah, click go go over to Winning Cures Everything, click on gambling picks. I'm I'm and then, you you document what I pick. Well, this is this is what I'm telling everybody to go and do right now, so that they can keep up with what we're doing as well. Um, Bad radio, but no, 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 no. This is fine. So, you you look at the NFL gambling picks. Did I cover this before? And no, you didn't bet this game. Uh, look in the go go back, go back. This is riveting radio. I know, riveting radio. Now we're getting no. Go back, go back. Go back. Go back down. Go back down. It was the big games. NFL big game picks. Right there. So, full season. Just terrible. Full season. Ravens at Chiefs. Yeah, we both had the Ravens against the spread. You had Ravens straight up because it was Chiefs minus six and a half. That's what it was. Okay. okay. So, now that we're off of that. That that was. (laughs) We were going to try to get. Y'all want to do 16 of these? You really don't. That would not be entertaining to anybody. Y'all really don't. I promise you. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Good gracious. The Vikings at the Bears. I do think that this is a big game. This is a big divisional game. The loser of this drops it probably two back in the division. Yeah. Um, well, the, yeah, probably, because it, it depends on if the Packers win or not. But either way, uh, both of them have to win to keep up. At least the Packers aren't the playing Packers. in division. Right. Um, so it won't be a divisional loss. No. Bears... Looked really good on Monday Night Football, but, man, that was not because of Trubisky. He still is having problems. That defense, though, that defense showed up big time. That's what terrifies me about this game. Go go ahead. Buy Trubisky today. I like... Let him beat up on the... Let me tell you a stat about Washington. I know I just... I'm I'm talking over you again. I apologize. No, you're good. Let me tell you a stat about Washington. Worst defense in all the NFL, Miami Dolphins. Second worst defense... Johnson, Washington Tide. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Mitchell Trubisky. You threw your first touchdown. You looked really good. That is a garbage team. And I don't know that Washington's any better than the Dolphins. I, uh, I just don't not. know that they are. They, um, I'll say this. They they got a lot of points due to turnovers, right? Mm-hmm. Washington gave up five turnovers in that game. Uh, so the Bears, of course, at home, minus two and a half. Uh, the last time that they played... A 
really good defense. They played the Packers in week one. They only scored three points at home. They went to the Broncos and played against a defense that we was, thought was supposed to be good, was good. And statistically, we're seeing they're terrible. Yeah, they're not they're not very good. Like they're bottom seven in the league, I think. And it's bad. And the Bears still only put up 16 points. Probably should have lost that game if it wasn't for a, uh, a, a roughing the passer call. So, um, I think I like Minnesota here. What terrifies me about this, though, is Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins the against defense. this defense. Because you know he's going to. So, I have the Vikings. It's in my game league picks. I'm giving that away now. He's going to throw the soul crushing interception that's going to cost me this game. Yeah, that's that's what I'm terrified. I mean, that's what he's going to do because he only is a good quarterback when he's playing from the front, and I don't know against this defense will they be playing from the front or not. Against bad teams, I believe that the Vikings can get out at front, and then he never has to press, and they can run the football, they can control the clock, and they can end the game. I had the Vikings against the Saints in the NFC Championship game, didn't I? I think that was my pick. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that that because I was all in on the Vikings. I, I thought they I do, really turned I this do around. I do have the Vikings go into the Super Bowl, so they're in mine. And that's that's where, but man, it, they just it, Kirk Cousins cannot beat teams with winning records. He, if Aaron Rodgers do does not win this division against these three quarterbacks, I can't help you. Yeah. I know that Matt Stafford's looking much better, but I I don't know how to explain how. How last year you lost the division and you were behind Kirk and you were behind Mitchell. I don't I don't know how to explain that. Well, easy. They both got great defenses. Like that's the biggest thing. And the Packers did not last year. I know they but did. But they, they rebuilt that thing this year. But this is a quarterback league, man. Oh, I know. I know. Everything is set up Every for the other great quarterback at least makes the playoffs. You don't win it all the time, but you at least make the playoffs. There's not a bad quarterback that missed the playoffs last year. I'm going to take the Bears at home here. I'm going to take the Vikings because I just, I think they're going to, I don't think Mitchell can score against a good defense. So I, I'm guessing if you're taking the two and a half, I think you're taking them to win, right? Yes, I'm taking them to win. And, I, I, and, I, and I'm telling you now, Mitchell is, I mean, not Mitchell. Well, Kirk, either Kirk one Cousin, of them can no, throw the That's the, the problem is they're not, they're not because one is, one is not going to be trusted to throw the football. The other one is absolutely going to believe he can make that throw, and he is going to throw it straight into the hands of the defense. You are so right on and that. And I'm going to be furious, and I'm oh, it's going to cost me money. Let's move on. Thursday night football. Hey, I like this game. I think I like this game, too. We get a really good Thursday night game. The Eagles at the Packers. The Packers are a five-and-a-half-point favorite right now. Uh, sure. Is that still... Yep. Oh, uh, no. We're, we're going down to four. It oh, we're back down to four three, and a half. And Vegas Insider has it four. Let me actually see a, a book instead of Vegas Insider. Give me one second. Yeah, it uh, it, it did move Vegas up Vegas Insider to... shows a lot of movement, but sometimes at the books it doesn't actually move. Man, we're a lot of bad radio for the NFL preview. Yeah, it's kind of... I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of been... Not on our game. I, I will openly say this. If you're hearing it on the podcast, I don't know if I've said it on the other ones or not, because I don't know where Gary puts these in at. I just know when it's finished. Four and a <laughs> half. This is the least prepared I've ever been for a show in, in a long, long time. I'm not going to say ever. Well, it was a, a weekend trip to Cleveland, and you went to uh, you went to the Browns game. My first day back at work today. and it's been busy. Yes. I, I showed up <laughs> about <laughs> ten minutes before we came up here to start. There you go. And said, I have my gambling picks. What else do I need? <laughs> what 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 can I do? What can I do? Anyway, yeah, uh, it's at four and a half. So four and a half. So it got bet back down. Um this is in my gambling picks. Is it? Yeah. Got it at a different line though. You want me to make you want me to make my pick here? Yeah, go ahead. I think I would take the Eagles because I cannot see this team that is so talented dropping three straight. And I'd take them to win the They've got some crazy injuries right now, don't, and that's it what matter. I don't it think don't it. I don't think it matters either. Because it's not. Here's um, the thing: they're all skill players. They're all wide receivers that yeah. are hurt. And you know how I feel about wide receivers. They're a dime a dozen, and I've watched both of these last Eagle games that they've lost. 
the wide receivers they have on the field are getting open. Yeah. They're absolutely getting open. So you can't say, well, our best receivers are out. Well, those guys are open. So are your best receivers going to be more open? Because you got to be able to hit these guys. Yeah. And I just, I've seen Carson Wentz be good at football. I can't imagine he just forgot how to throw the ball. I think in a in a desperate spot. I do think this is desperate. And I and I don't believe and enough in the Packers the to see them go for coaching discrepancy of a team that has lost two in a row and the other team is 3 and 0 with and this is not a Rodgers problem. This is this is a coaching problem. I don't see them being 4 and 0 and I don't see this team going to 1 and yeah, me either. It's just my perception of what these teams are. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I, if I just, that's I what can't happens, see it. I was extremely off before the year started. Now, I think I'm way off about the Packers to begin with now, but I, I can't imagine being that far off on the Eagles. Yeah. At, at some point, there will be a regression to the mean. At yes. some point. At some point, it's got to happen. And this is a desperate move. Thursday night football is ugly football. Yeah, it is. Which – I'll and you if you this. if you like ugly football, the Eagles are are oh, all in on that. They're definitely ugling up some games. Yeah, and so that's it. I I do like the Eagles here. Um, okay, that surprises me. I don't know why I thought you were gonna you were gonna be no on the, be on the no because I just I, I I didn't believe in the Packers before the season, and this it's offense, not like they've this it's not like they've really wrong. surprised me. That's right. There's like something it, wrong. They, there's. They can't score in the second half. I mean, they're averaging four and a half points in the second half of games. As soon like, as they get off script, yeah, they 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 score no more points. Exactly. It's so, very strange. It's very strange. And I think if you do that against Carson Wentz and this bunch, I think that they will make you pay for it. And I got man, I gotta think this Eagles defense is better than they've been. Yeah. I mean, they're talented. I know they've got a, guy, a bunch of guys I, hurt too on defense. I don't. I don't think they've been desperate yet. No, like they, this this team, I mean, the last few years when they get desperate, like it is, it's go time. I, I think this team moonwalked into into Atlanta, thinking we're gonna beat up on these guys. They got and then they came home. A fight. Yeah, and Carson made a ton of mistakes, and then they got home and they were like, "All right, it's the lines." Yeah, we'll handle the lines. We'll handle them. We're just better than them, and and they got got. Yeah, the thing that the lines do, also the thing that the Packers are doing. Lions are really good in the trenches on both sides of the oh, football. Yeah. Packers are really good in the trenches on both sides of the football right now. If you get beat in the trenches, you're go- they are going to lose this game, and the Packers are going to cover. Yeah. They got to get tough in the trenches. And I, th- I think they will. But just, if, if they don't, then obviously, like, well, this is. We're, so we're strictly, our analysis is one team is desperate and the other team has overshot their, their, yes. their shot, right? Yeah. I, I, think, I think that's it. Hardcore analytics there. All right, let's talk. Let's let's move on. Let's do rapid fire. You ready? All right. All right. Real rapid we, fire. We got six games. Pop them off. Browns at the Ravens. Not enough points. I like the Browns here. Um, reason being, I think this is a again desperation spot. Uh, I understand your reasoning. We teased a Browns FG, but then we just said rapid fire. So yeah, so rapid fire Browns. At the Ravens, I like the Browns here because I I think people are not fully understanding exactly how good the teams are that have beaten them, right? So game one, I get it. Titans, Titans want to come out and prove a point in that game. Obviously, they look like garbage the last two weeks, but they still have talent. They still got dudes, and all of the hype was on Cleveland. Cleveland playing at home that first week may have been the worst thing for them. I, th- I think they lost to a really good Rams team who I think, again, is really, really good. And like, I don't think the Ravens are as good as the Rams. So I think that the Browns can actually hang in this. They're, they're leaving Cleveland. There's not as much pressure on them here. Everybody expects them to go in and lose. I, I like the Browns to at least keep this game close. So I'm, I'm rolling Browns on that one. Uh, I've watched this team closer than I've watched any other team in my over a three-game stretch, and just don't believe. No, can't no. believe in them. I can't, I'm, 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 I'm telling you as honest as I know, this is my team. I'm telling you as honest as I know how to be. There was a chance that Freddie Kitchens could be a disaster, and 
Everybody in Cleveland saying, oh, it's only three games. You don't know. Yes, you do, because he controls the offensive side of the ball, and that's what is a disaster. Yeah. He, he does zero for the defense, so you can't give him any of that credit at all. And he is doing all the play calling. He is doing things that are purposefully trying to confuse the other defenses with his offense, and it but actually it does confuses is confuse his, his offense. own offense, and they're – they're just not good. And the thing, I promise I'll make this as quick as I can make it by saying this. I, I believe that one of the things that makes me a good administrator at my job, I, I, I own my own businesses now, but before I did that, I've been in management and administration for a long time. And, and I, I'm a clown in here, but in my, in my real jobs, I actually am pretty professional. And, and I take them serious. And I, the, one of the things that makes me great at administration and management is I'm never 100% certain about anything, ever. When something's not working, I take those involved that have a voice, I lock us into a room, and we don't leave the room until we have solved the problem, and the only rule is there are no bad ideas. We, we will throw anything we can at the wall. We will troubleshoot and problem solve, workshop, Everything we can workshop it, poke as many holes as we can in it, and then we'll come out with what we believe is the best plan to go forward with the business. It's something that has made me incredibly successful. It is time-consuming, it's stressful, it is hard, but we do it. Brady Kitchen said one thing at today, Tuesday's press conference after the game, that is not only unforgivable, but it's, it's who he is as a person, which means he's never going to change, which the question was asked, are you willing to give up your play calling? And his response was, it's not even being now, my problem is this. When the offense looks as bad as it's looked for three weeks, and it's not like you've played the greatest defenses in the world. Rams, really good defense. Those other two teams, I don't know that we can say that because the Titans have been beat up on and the Jets have been beat up on. Okay, So the fact that you're willing to walk into a room, your offensive side of the ball, and you're already saying, we got to figure out how to fix this, but we're not considering X, Y, and Z. Don't even think about it. No. When you're that bad and you have that much talent, everything at least needs to be considered and figured out and workshopped. Everything. You exhaust it. No, no stone left unturned. I think he wants to win his way. And, and one thing I will tell you about me in business and all my jobs is anybody who's ever worked with me will tell you I don't care anything about credit. I don't care. I don't want it. It doesn't matter to me. Did we win or did we lose? Did we make money or did we not? Do we have happy customers, happy clients, or do we not? Do we have happy employees or do we not? I only care about wins. I don't care anything about who figured out the plan to do this, do that. Freddie wants to win. There's no doubt in my mind he's a crazy competitive guy. Freddie wants to win his way. And I have, I just have a, a problem with that, and I don't think that character trait ever changes. Okay. I went really long, and, and I said a, an, an inkling of what I actually be- want to say. I barely cracked the surface on really breaking this team down because I feel like I know this team. I know them backwards and forwards right now. I know everything about them, and I could not be more out. So, Ravens. I so. really like Lamar <laughs> a lot. And I just won't – listen, nobody loves Miles, Miles Garrett more than I do. Don't hurt Lamar. Just don't hurt Lamar. Just don't hurt Lamar. <laughs> because this guy, this kid has a chance to be special. Yeah, That's yeah. No, you're you're right. You're right. Um, all right. So so now we're now we'll for real. We will for real go for, rapid fire. It. I tried to I tried to say what I need to say. No, it's all good. I think it was it was very well put. It was, I don't know. It was I don't beautiful. Know if it was that, but it, it was, was it was a beautiful job. It was real. I am uh, I am appreciative that I'm your partner. Well, I'm glad of that. <laughs> Most people think that you should sail me down the that's, river. That's uh, yeah. Hey, so. I, well, I mean, if I was gonna fire you, it would have been years ago. So you know, at this point, it, I'm, I've come to expect everything. So it's all good. Uh, let's, Monday, roll. let's roll. Monday night football. Bengals at the Steelers. Woo! This is a somebody matchup. will walk away with not a loss. <laughs> uh well. Yeah, because you either get a tie, you're either gonna tie or a win, or one of them is gonna get a win. Oh, this is 
disgusting. Steelers are a four point favorite. Um, I'd, I'd have to go with the Steelers I'd here. I like, yeah. I mean, I, I think they're going to get this thing right. I think the Bengals are awful. Um, Andy Dalton did show some spirit last I, week I, coming I, back. I'm going to you know? tell you, Andy Dalton has played two games where he's looked really good. Yeah. Now, and, the 49ers, and they well. game, 49ers and the game might be a kitchen sink thing. You just throw that away and you just got beat. But the other two games, Andy ain't been the problem. Yeah. Uh, Steelers probably also could have beaten the Seahawks. Um, Correct. Even even with Mason Rudolph. Um, and and really could have won at San Francisco last yeah, week. Yeah, they could have won that game. You know, they were in that game. They they led, and Kyle Shanahan does what Kyle Shanahan does. You got that right. Next up, Titans at the Falcons. Falcons are a four-point favorite. This is a game that I am staying away from. I, this is The reason this is interesting is both of these teams had playoff aspirations, and the loser of this game goes loser to one and three. Loser leaves town. I mean, you, this is a loser leaves town Yeah, match. you get to one and three at this point. Yep. That's not good. That's, that is very difficult to make up. This isn't my gambling place. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I told you, I ain't ever betting on the Titans again. Screw them after last week. Good gracious, that was ridiculous last Thursday. Panthers at the Texans. Texans minus four. Kyle Allen, is he the next savior? We will find out. Uh, although I do think that this may mean that there's a quarterback battle in Carolina because if he plays as well as he did against the, uh, the Cardinals... I mean, it, how could you bring Cam Newton back? Like, it, and, and he's got a Liz Frank injury right now that he's dealing with. Like, I, could we have seen the end of Cam Newton? I mean, you know, you know how I feel about that. I buried him in our recap of last week. How do I say that? After week two, yeah, I, I, I officially put Cam to rest. Yeah, and I had never seen Cal Allen play in the NFL. But I, most I people knew. had not seen Kyle Allen play in college. Well, that's because I mean, they don't follow the SEC football the way we do. No, but Kyle Allen transferred to, to Houston. Like he played two years at Houston. Yeah, but we we knew who he was at A and M. Yeah, no, we we knew who he was, and, and, and but he wasn't good at A and M. But we he was still young. Knew who he was? Yeah, we knew who he was. But yeah, that's what I'm saying is he has not had a ton of experience. But he was a highly regarded recruit. He was a five-star recruit. Yes, sir. But, man, he latched on in some bad spots and didn't get near the amount of playing uh, time. We talked about this before the that... season started. This Panthers roster is loaded with talent. It absolutely is. They just need a trigger man. Uh, they may have found him one. Uh, and I just I don't, I don't believe in this Texans team. I don't understand them. I, don't, like I will I... tell you this. The Texans as a favorite, I love betting against. It's strictly because they – Every game is coming down to the last play, last yeah. possession. That's just it. That, that, that's that's Deshaun be, Watson. They might have two scores at all. No, you're right about that. Uh, I, I do kind of like the Panthers here. I just, again, what you were talking about. Jags at the Broncos. Gardner Minshew. The, the nation has just been swept inundated. up by this gentleman. Did you hear the, the story that he called in with, to pardon my take, like on Friday last week. No. Oh my lord, this it's been dude. A long time since I listened so to he was the he was the brief story on Gardner Minshew. He was the quarterback at East Carolina, yes. right? And he well he started at Northwest, Northwest Community West, College. Northwest Mississippi Community College. Believe that. I I didn't graduate from there, but I did go there. He. <laughs> I, my, I went there my, too. My second yeah. freshman year and my first sophomore year, Northwest so Mississippi Community College. He goes to Northwest. And then he goes to East Carolina. Well, he is behind these other guys at East Carolina, having trouble getting on the field, et cetera. Well, one of the guys gets hurt. Their backup ended up being their best running back, and their running back, like their starting running back, got injured. Got hurt, too. So yep. they moved the backup quarterback to running back, and then the starting quarterback got hurt. So he had to go into the game, and he started doing the math afterwards because it turned out he was going to end up having to play. He knew that once the other guy came back, he was going to lose that job because the like, coach basically told him, like, this is yeah. our guy. We really need you in this spot, but that's our guy. So he was trying to figure out, okay, how much time is it for – this is before the four-game rule for, for right. redshirting. That's right. So he was trying to figure out about a medical redshirt because he wanted an extra year to be able to be a grad transfer to go play somewhere. Correct. Right? This dude figured out the math. Realized that if he knocked himself 
out for the rest of the season at this point, before he played any more snaps, then he could get a medical red shirt, and that way we'd, he would have another year of eligibility. So this is what he told his Washington State teammates, and he said he had never shared it with anybody else before he told the part of my tech guys. Um, but that's how much he wanted another year of being able to play football. Because well, he didn't is, know that he was going to get drafted. Well, no, he, and so he wanted every year of college that he could get. So this man went and got a hammer and a bottle of Jack Daniels. And oh, his, roommate, already. his roommate left, and he sat there, and he, he used his non-throwing hand. He was, trying to, he was trying to hit. Smart man. No, no, he was trying to hit his throwing hand. Well, but he was doing smart. it with his non-throwing hand, so it was the weaker arm. Oh, that wasn't smart at all. So he takes a couple of swigs of his Jack Daniels, puts the hand down, bam, bam, bam. Hits it as hard as he can. And he said, man, it hurt. It was, but he could tell it wasn't broken. So maybe not as smart as I thought. Takes a few more swigs of Jack Daniels, drinks, you know, three, four glugs. Bam, bam, bam. Again. He said he hit that thing like 12 times. He, th- he said, and he could tell it still wasn't broken. He went into practice the next day, hand all swollen up. Coach asked what was going on. He said he slammed it in the car door. He still had to play the rest of the season. Not the rest of the season, but he said, still threw it pretty well, but I had a swollen hand for like five weeks. But that dude wants it. And look, getting points again? What is he, 13-2 and two against the spread as a starter? Yeah. Like, that includes Washington State and the Jags, but this dude is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm a big fan. I Ooh. love him. I live in a world where it's hard for me to swallow this because I just think the Broncos aren't going to go for 0 and 4. Yeah, it's just it's just a math thing, which is the only reason why I'm not betting it. But of if course, they they, come they've out, also got the Jalen Ramsey situation, which true wasn't a problem yeah, last week, it didn't but seemed to be a problem. But that's it, it's a problem this week because he's called in sick and he's not coming to. You I know. think he's probably just missing practice. I could be wrong on that. I mean, he, if he, he misses the game. He misses the game check. Yeah. So. I, I, I think these dudes are making so much money now, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you this. I love the kid. I, I want anything for him. I'm going to regret not betting on him this week. Yeah, probably so. I'm going to regret not betting on him this week. Probably so. And finally, last but lot, well, last and least, I guess. Yeah. Raiders at the Colts. Uh, I, I wanted to throw this in there just because, you know, it, my, my Raiders under six and a half – is getting, oh, so much closer. We got worried when they came out and kind of beat the brakes off of the Broncos. Off the Broncos and and now, then we realized, oh, the Broncos just suck. Now, I did hear uh, Mark Schlereth say on one of the shows that I listened to, I, I don't remember which one, uh, I heard him say that they have been dealing with injury slash illness. Like, they, the, a the lot Raiders of, or the Broncos? The Raiders. Okay. Um, because they, like there's something going on with the Raiders that there's they've still got a ton of talent, but like they had an Ooh. illness sweep through the football facility. I don't know if I'd use the word ton of talent. Oh, they've the, got a lot of Raiders. talent right now. Yes, a hundred percent. They got a bunch of skill talent. Like that Tyrell Williams dude, man, he is lighting it up right now. He's a, Josh he's, Jacobs okay. has been really good. He's a like, receiver. Josh Jacobs is a high draft pick. I'm not going to deny that he's got a lot of talent. Not question that at all. Yeah. Tyrell Williams has been bounced around this league, and and he is the yeah, best he's, rec- he's the best receiver they have. But but here's here's and the he's deal. really fast. He's really fast and he's really good. He has dealt with with off the field issues forever, right? And it looks like he's finally got. Now it may not last the whole season, but it looks like he's got everything together here, right? Um, We're just going to disagree on the tons of talent. That's that's fine. Look, they they have talent. How's that? They have talent. Yeah, uh, these guys are all pros. Like they're better than you and I at football. Are the are the Colts seven points better than the Raiders? I think the Colts are really. You're talking to the wrong person when that's, you were having this conversation. No, I, I, I do. think they're winning this division. I think they're making the playoffs. I think this is a really good team. I I like this team a lot. I like this coaching staff. I like the way they're built. They've got the meanest, nastiest offensive lineman. So, 
I, I like this team. We're doing rapid fire. I'm not going too crazy. Everyone knows I like the Colts. I've been high on them all year. This is in my gambling days. Okay. Okay. I'm going to lay all these points. All right. That, uh, yeah, I'd probably take the Colts as well. <laughs> I, I, I really, I really, like, I just, I need the Raiders to lose a lot. I got under six and a half. I don't, I don't know that that's in danger. I don't think it is. I was afraid right after the Broncos team, and then now I um, kind of understand that. Yeah. It's, uh, they, they still got a rough schedule. Still got a rough schedule. All right, that's going to wrap up our NFL preview show. Of course, you can find us over at winningcureseverything.com. Go over there. Make sure you check out all of our social media. Give us a like on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can also subscribe to the show on YouTube on whatever favorite podcast app you may have. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, whatever. If you're on Apple Podcasts, please leave a five-star review. We do appreciate that very, very much. It uh, it helps out more than you know with their algorithm as far as getting us in front of more people. And we do appreciate the support with you guys listening and following and commenting and leaving reviews and all of that wonderful stuff. You guys are great. Go over to tunicatravel.com. Find out more about the stuff that they are offering down in the Delta. We will see you guys again next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.